Tyrone, we're in a new gym. Yeah, new gym. Been here for a couple of months now. Just decided I need a change. Felt like um, I don't know. Someone was just missing in the other gym. Mm -hmm. I just want, I want enjoying it as much and that. So I just you know made the change and enjoying it. I've been working with P since just before the Jack Carroll fight a couple of months before. I took him on as a padman. Um, um, just enjoy it with gel well, get on with lads in the gym, so why not? Well, you went over to Australia, where, I mean, yeah, a pretty bad decision, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not spoke to anyone in Australia or outside of Australia that said to me, oh, they thought he won. You know, I've seen well, forums where they were giving him <laughs> two rounds and three rounds and, you know, at best he got four rounds, so it's just, you know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? But, um, well, the commentators were a little bit shocked. I think even the guy who announced the decision was a little bit shocked, wasn't he? I think he came up and had a few words with you. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was it was a bizarre decision. I mean, just to put it into perspective, the referee messaged me on Facebook the day mm. after, and he said, um, apologising. Mm. I've had all matchmaker and everyone apologising. Promoters apologised, but you know none of them are at, in, at fault. Mm. Uh, the referee messaged me saying that when he got given the, the result, he said, if you double check this, kid who checks the score cards or whatever and the kid went I've checked it three times mm -hmm. and he said that he said to the kid we can't keep doing this it's disgusting it's not fair on these fighters no so I mean just you know was that your first fight when you moved up in weight then to welterweight yeah first fight at welterweight and did you feel it made a difference for you yeah I mean I've, I know obviously I we, think we forget about the result but how did you feel yeah, I felt as a welterweight weight. I mean <clears throat> Took it on a couple of weeks notice and that's a bit of a crash getting out of welter still but you know it wasn't like the days of getting out of do 10 stone yeah because you stepped in um because liam taylor liam should taylor have been going over yeah, there i think with terry's fight getting switched i think yeah obviously steve didn't want to commit to going to australia and whatever so liam's not bothered going mm -hmm. not with that but probably was a good idea for him wasn't it really yeah. <laughs> probably <got laughs> you were the fall guy instead yeah so um you know just i mean it's been appealed but I don't know what will come from it. Yeah. I don't know whether they'll force him to rematch us or what, who knows. We can only Would you want that over there though? I'll, I'll fight over there again, me. Yeah? Yeah, gladly. It were, to be honest, it was it were a great experience. It's not like you just get up and go to Australia, do you? You know, you, you know. you've had, I think, 41 fight was your 41st fight. Yeah. You're only 28 years old. Um, obviously, you've still got a lot of ambitions. I know when I, I spoke to you after the fight, and you said you know you're looking to become a, a two weight world champion, a British champion. Sorry, um, is that still on the cards? Yeah, I mean, I'm not. You know, I'm far from finished, and um, you know, I, I, ain't got, I ain't got the list on me. But if you look at the top ten in Britain, they're in a great deal of depth. Well, I think like well, there's a much talent filled, more talent filled yeah. division. But outside, of you've got Josh Kelly, Bradley Ski. They're probably your top two at the moment. Um, you know, coming through, you've got Darren Tetley, you've got your... Yeah, because he had a good win against Mason Cartwright, didn't he? Fight, didn't they? You've got Tomoko Mucha, Paddy Gallagher, mm. Frankie Gavin's fighting for European, Gary, Gary Kakorin's fighting Bradley. You know, and I'm not... I don't see it as the same talent, strong division that quite well. I'm not saying they're not tough fights, they're all mm -hmm. bigger and stronger fighters than the fighters I've been fighting. But, you know, I'm, I've never said no to a fight and I ain't going to say no to any of these guys, so if any of them fancy it, give me a call. <laughs> give me a call, I'm eager and I'm waiting, I want to fight. But uh, do you think this change of coming down here has, has made a difference? You, yeah, you, definitely. You get your, um, your, your mojo back? Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it again. I kind of felt like I got a bit stale in the gym. And, you know, I kind of want enjoyed it going in doing a bit of pads and sparring and that. So. But all the stuff, I'm kind of like, ugh. We like going through motions again a bit. Well, as I said, you, you know, you're only 28 years old, but you've yeah. been a pro for 10 years. Yeah, Your first fight, we just said before, was Chris yeah. Lay, who's just fight. retired, wasn't he? <laughs> and, and I think it was 300 fights he retired on, and you told me it was his 53rd fight? Third, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was 53rd, yeah. Time flies, <laughs> doesn't it? But yeah, I mean, you know, it's still friends and everything with my dad and you know we're not falling out in any way or always no it's just sometimes you just need just, that little yeah, change don't like you change. like i said i've been working with pete since before the carol fight and i've, just, I've enjoyed it you know he's young he's in he's enthusiastic and yeah the gym's thriving you've got bob Adger, Safi, you've got mickey and you've got a few amateurs coming through jack bates and comes over and does a bit you know so we're always pushing against each other to win like a little fitness test and you're always trying to beat each other like I've got the well, record, I've got record for most skips in, in one minute <laughs> you know, and they all know that 
beat them both at the circuits too. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's that's the competition we've got going in. So it's it's good, you know. Whereas but, but boxing is thriving now. You know we're just winning that world title. Especially Suddenly the spotlight's this on this place. Yeah, that's it. And I mean, you know, any Leeds, Manchester, sure you could put me on it. You could put me on against anyone. You know, I'm always, I'm always in a good fight, whether I perform or not, it's yeah, a good yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. And um, But, you know, the problem is I'm a nightmare for most people on a good day. Yeah. Let's just be honest, a lot of fighters don't like saying yeah to fights, they like saying no. <laughs> and, uh, I was talking to Bilal, Billy the Kid, the other day, and yeah. he's, having, he's having nightmares trying to get someone to fight for the central area, never mind all else. Yeah. You know, and, and it was the same for us, for the English. Shane Singleton twice pulled out, Bradley Saunders pulled out, Lenny Dawes pulled out. Eventually got Tyler Good job, you know, and fair put of Tyler, he came and gave it his all like he always does. And then obviously it's a different world. Then when you get to the British title, people are just going to start avoiding that sort of sort of stuff. But he's having struggle getting someone for the central area, and he just wants a decent fight. And yeah. without saying names, it's amazing when you talk to fighters, and you find out who's actually turning fights down and stuff. It's quite surprising. So who would be your ideal opponent next? Who would you like? Me. Whatever. So I, you know, I want to fight the big names. I want to fight the guys with the belts. You know, Johnny Garton's got an IBF, whatever. I think Skeet's the British champion. Uh, Josh Kelly's got a Commonwealth. He's got mm -hmm. the WBA, whatever. Into one of them into belts. Um, I don't know. What else. Darren Taylor's got the WBO European or something. You know, and them. And then, you know, it don't have to be a title fight. Just good fight, good ten yeah. rounder. You know, they're, they're the fights I'm laughing about fighting. Mr. Well, Latvia. I mean, let's put it this way. Um, last October, when you fought um, um, Jack. Jack Cattrall, uh, that would have been the fight that would have been elevated you onto that world team, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. Yeah, and, I mean, and it know, must be frustrating, but you know, what's meant to be is what's meant to be, in it. And to be honest, I think I think I would done it like well about the time so I was fighting Coyle and Le Mans, You know, stripping out to my boxes for Le Mans fight. But Joe Hughes fight, my dad told me to come in four or five pound heavy. Yeah. Well, just you know, there. But you know, being me and wanting to be the thorough professional, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So I drained my body to get down to the weight and make sure I'm, you know, British champion. I don't want to come in four or five pound heavy. No. It doesn't look good, does it? So you know, you just kind of, but you can't win the British title and then say, oh, I'm moving up because I've gone up with no bragging rights, no, you know, no power in that sense. So you know, we had to hold on to it and just keep training his body a little bit. But you know, I think well, that's another thing. Now you've moved up to it. Do you feel like you you're hitting harder now? Um, I feel stronger. I feel better. I feel better at the weight. Yeah, mm. you know, in all aspects, and I'm working on a few things and tweaking a few bits of the game. And you know, I'm looking forward to getting in and putting it on to practice. And I feel myself practicing and sparring more. Whereas before, when I was sparring, I was just sparring. Yes. Right? Whereas in, you know, in, in uh, sparring now, it's, now it's like more I'm quality than quantity. So I'm working on things. Whereas yeah. I haven't done that for years. I just got in and done me sort of thing and well I believe you weren't you the guy that used to like spar 20 rounds yeah still can, <laughs> still can. <laughs> that's not an issue 20 rounds no no I know but, but, but sometimes yeah it's better to do six rounds of quality than, than 20 no, rounds yeah I mean even back in in the old gym we, we, we got to that point where we've been doing 12 rounds for, for laugh and we started getting sparring in and we might just do six with them eight with them but higher intensity and better quality because mm -hmm. you know making you stay on game, stay on ball sort of thing because you can switch off if you're doing 12 rounds and you know they're going to tire after six so you think ah oh, well sorry I'll take it easy for seventh and eighth and then whoever they chuck in for the next four whatever you know <laughs> what I mean so yeah. um, but I suppose that's just me being so when forever. when does the journey restart over here again then I'm just waiting to find out I'm waiting to hear from whoever <laughs> whoever yeah. I mean we got offered a fight against a kid who's had seven fights from Wales and he just wanted to test himself he was supposed to fight Chris Jenkins uh, Chris Jenkins got the fight against Darren Foley, which mm -hmm. happened at the weekend, and you know I don't see enough to fight. So I said, yeah, fine, we'll go fight him. No, yeah, five, to take one, another one, five, one, lost one, draw one. And that was record. And you yeah. know what? For someone who wants to test himself, you know, I'm fair play to the kid. Not but respect for him, not but credit. Yeah. Obviously, his teams come back and said, look, it's probably said to him, this is a bit of a stupid idea. Let's not bother with this one. <laughs> you know, let's we can give it another year, six months, or whatever, and start trying these sort of fights you know there's fights out there could fight someone like Billy the Kid yeah you know yeah, what I mean yeah, yeah. sort of fights that probably work for him they'd be better at the same sort of points of the career and that sort of thing 
but I don't say no to fights. I've never said no to fights, and whoever wants it can have it. <laughs> so we'll leave it on that then, eh? I'm, I'm thinking of calling out Bob, to be honest. Big Bob, <laughs> call Big Bob out. Yeah, see, see, what can, see what comes of that. <laughs> all right, listen, it's uh, always a pleasure to have you on. And uh, you just, uh, you've just picked your daughter and your wife up? They've been yeah, away, have they? That's why I was late getting here. They, uh, they went to America for a couple of weeks, so I picked them up, and little ones have had no, but up all night with jet lag and adjusting to the sleeping time, so me tired eyes <laughs> <laughs> but everything's going great then yeah fine. you're a happy man great, yeah. which makes you a dangerous man that's it all right Tyro. take care mate bye bye <laughs>